I am an eternally optimistic person. There is nothing in this world we can't do it. There will be resistance, there will be opposition. But as long as you are committed, it will be done. I strongly believe in the power of purpose. My purpose is that every citizen of this planet should have access to high-tech healthcare with dignity. And I want it to happen in my lifetime. I am Dr. Devi Shetty. I am a heart surgeon by profession and uh, I'm the chairman of uh, Narayan Rudalaya group of hospitals. It's now called Narayana Health. The reason why this hospital is known is because we are very, very affordable to the common man of this country. We are able to do the major heart operation for about $1,300 to $1,400. And our intention is to reduce the cost of heart operation to $800. So we are maintaining same standards as some of the best hospitals in the US, but our cost is a fraction of what it is anywhere else in the world. Our margin is less, predominantly because most of our patients are poor. But we make that margin from thousands of patients instead of hundreds of patients. The kid I am going to operate was born with a hole in the heart called ventricular septal defect. And uh, if you don't operate on this kid within the next few months, the child's lung will sustain irreversible damage. In that situation, you can't treat them and they invariably die within the next few years. When I was studying, I think around fifth standard or so, my teacher announced in our class that somebody in Cape Town removed a dead man's heart and used that to transplant into a person with a diseased heart. And that's the day I decided to become a heart surgeon. I settled down in a place called Calcutta. I was operating and my anesthetist took a call and uh, he informed that I, a patient is requesting me to make a home visit. I told them that, look, I'm a surgeon. What do I do visiting a patient at home? But the caller said that if I make a call, visit, it may change my life. And I said, that's a good offer. So I, I didn't know that it was Mother Teresa, but then I realized it was, it truly changed my life. The often quoted statement of Mother, this is the one which really keeps me going, is hands that help are more sacred than the lips that pray. Essentially, the essence of life is to help others and bring smiles on people. 
who are not as privileged as us. So this, this, is, the, this is the most important lesson I learned from mother. Doctor, over here, there is operation success. I did. In the interlate, in the other level, more than I did. Beko, more than continue it. Next, I mean, I see what is shift matte. What is that? The ma, makkal, vidya court. There now vidya kali lella. In that, there over again, there is vidya court. That one, no one, the vidya one, there, na, there, 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 I have uh, three sons and a princess. Other than my youngest son, all the others are married. They have their own children. And uh, all of them are working uh, with the company. It wasn't a case that he was a 5 p.m. kind of dad. But what it did was force us to meet him in his home ground, which is here. Me, my brothers, all of us spent our childhood in and around hospitals. They understood at a very early stage that father is required to be working and taking care of some other children than watching them running a hundred meter dash or doing something. Uh, you know, their important events in their life, I couldn't participate much. Yeah. But if you ask me whether I have regret, no regrets. I didn't care much about my uh, uh, responsibility towards the wife and children. It was very hard for my wife to bring up four children virtually as a single parent. But then that was required then. I needed to do it because that's the only way I could do it. He has four grandkids now. Loves reading to them, loves feeding them. And I think he's trying to be the kind of grandfather to them that, you know, to make up for the time that probably couldn't spend with us. When we started our journey, people discouraged us, saying that there is nothing like a low-cost healthcare. Yeah, I am blamed as the person who devalued the healthcare market of India by reducing the cost. Yes, I am partly to be blamed, but I guess long term, everyone will get the benefit. Patients will get the benefit, and the society will get the benefit, and the investors also will get the benefit. See, when young entrepreneurs come and talk to me about my advice for them, I always ask them to define the purpose of their business, purpose of their journey. And if you are convinced with the purpose, and if the purpose is going to make this world a better place to live in, if the purpose is going to help millions and millions of people, who are currently having no access to whatever service you offer, you will succeed. Irrespective of how many goof-ups you have, how many mistakes you have made, believe me, you will succeed. <laughs>